Step into the realm of mystery and adventure as we unveil the recent discovery of a hidden advanced civilization buried beneath the ice of Antarctica. With cutting-edge technology, scientists have uncovered evidence of a once thriving society that flourished with technology beyond our modern understanding. What secrets will be uncovered? And what impact will this discovery have on our current understanding of the world? In this video, join us as we embark on this incredible journey to uncover the truth about the hidden civilization in Antarctica. But before that, here is a quick knowledge test. Who were the first ancient inhabitants of Antarctica? Share your answers below. Here we begin. A pyramid was found in Indonesia indicating the presence of an ancient civilization. A massive pyramid-like structure in Indonesia may be the remains of an ancient temple buried for thousands of years. The structure is located atop Mount Padang in West Java. It is topped by an archaeological site discovered in the early 19th century and contains rows of ancient stone pillars. However, the sloping hill beneath is not part of the natural, rocky landscape. It was created by human hands, according to scientists. Though the buried structure appears to be a pyramid, it differs from Mayan pyramids of the same type. While Mayan pyramids appear symmetrical, this structure appears elongated, with a half circle in the front. Because some partially exposed features in the existing archaeological site didn't quite match the standing stones, archaeologists suspected that the exposed megalith was more than it appeared. The hill's unusual shape also stood out in the landscape. The researchers gradually uncovered several layers of a large structure by using various techniques to peer underground. At the very top, basalt rock pillars framed step terraces, with other arrangements of rock columns forming walls, paths, and spaces. According to the scientists, they estimated that this layer was between 3,000 and 3,500 years old. A second layer of similar rock columns, estimated to be 7,500 to 8,300 years old, lay beneath the surface to a depth of about 10 feet or 3 meters. According to the researchers, a third layer, 49 feet, that's 15 meters below the surface, is more than 9,000 years old and may date back to 28,000 years. Their surveys also revealed several underground chambers. Discovery in Antarctica The discovery of pyramids in Antarctica made headlines in 2016 when Google Earth images revealed what appeared to be three pyramids with four sides resembling the famous Giza pyramids in Egypt. This discovery sparked much interest and speculation about the origin of these structures. The discovery also raised questions about who might have built these pyramids and for what purpose. One of the most popular theories about the origin of these pyramids is that they were remnants of an earlier Atlantean civilization that once existed in Antarctica. This theory is based on the idea that Antarctica was once a warm and thriving land before the ice covered it. According to this theory, the pyramids were built by the inhabitants of this advanced civilization as structures of worship or as tombs. Another theory suggests that the pyramids were built by extraterrestrials. This theory suggests that ancient astronauts visited Antarctica and constructed these pyramids as a form of communication or as a way to store information. On the other hand, there is a more scientific explanation for the existence of these pyramids. Some scientists have proposed that there may actually be nun attacks, the peaks of mountains that protrude through the ice and are higher than the surrounding terrain. This theory suggests that the appearance of the nun attacks may have been misinterpreted as pyramids due to the angle of the satellite images. Regardless of the origin of these pyramids, their discovery has sparked a lot of interest in Antarctica and its history. The Research of Dr. Charles Hapgood The discovery of three Antarctica pyramids has sparked discussions about the possibility of human habitation on the continent in the past 6,000 years. 
This period corresponds with the construction of pyramids in the Old World, the research of Charles Hapgood supports this theory, and the existence of an ancient civilization in Antarctica, which is now covered by ice. Confirming the Piri Reis Map The Piri Reis Map of Antarctica has long been shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Its incredible accuracy has left many scratching their heads, wondering how this map, created in 1513, could possibly depict the coastlines, mountain ranges, and plateaus of Antarctica with such precision. Dr. Charles Hapgood, who wrote about the Piri Reis map in his book, Maps of the Ancient Sea Kings, was sure that the map was based on an earlier map and was of ancient origin. He noted that the map's creator used spheroid trigonometry, which was thought to have been invented in the 18th century, even though the Piri Reis map was dated to 1513. The discovery of the mysterious snow pyramids in Antarctica only increases speculation about the possibility of human habitation on the frozen continent in recent history. Whether these structures are evidence of ancient technology or a geological phenomenon remains to be seen. Still, one thing is certain, the Piri Reis map and the snow pyramids have captured the imagination of people around the world and sparked a quest for answers. Moreover, there are speculations that ancient Greeks were also building pyramids simultaneously with the ancient Egyptians. The pyramids of Argolis are an often overlooked piece of ancient history, dating back around 5,000 years ago in the plains of Ergolid, Greece. Despite the common association of pyramids with Egypt, the ancient Greeks were constructing pyramids at the same time or even earlier. One such pyramid, the Pyramid of Hellenicon, stands as the most well-known Greek pyramid. The Pyramid of Hellenicon, referred by the ancient Greek traveler and geographer Pausanias in his description of Greece, the Pyramid of Hellenicon was said to have been a tomb for soldiers who died in a battle for the throne of Argos. Another tale claims it was the final resting place for Argives killed in battle around 669 BC. The age of the Pyramid of Hellenicon in Greece has been the subject of much debate and speculation among archaeologists and historians. In 1938, an American archaeological expedition estimated the pyramid's construction around 300 to 400 BC. However, a scientific team led by Professor Lyridzis re-examined the pyramid's age in 1991 using a new method and placed the date at around 3000 BC. Subsequently, research conducted by the Academy of Athens and the University of Edinburgh further revised the date to 2720 BC. If these calculations are accurate, the Pyramid of Hellenicon will predate the Pyramid of Djoser in Egypt, which is currently considered the oldest Egyptian pyramid. The age of Egyptian pyramids is a controversial topic in its own right, making the determination of the true age of the Greek pyramid even more crucial. Despite its relatively small size compared to the massive Egyptian pyramids, the Pyramid of Hellenicon measures just 23 by 30 feet, that's 7 by 9 meters. The structure holds immense significance in our understanding of the beginnings of civilization in Greece. Egyptian Connection of These Pyramids The origins of the Greek pyramids are shrouded in mystery and speculation. Some historians have attempted to link them to the ancient Egyptian pyramids, proposing that they were built by Egyptian mercenaries or that the tradition of pyramid building was brought from Egypt to Greece. However, these theories lack concrete evidence. What do you think of the connection of Egypt with pyramids in the world? Comment below and the answer to our question is, the first remains to discover Antarctica were not seafaring Westerners but Polynesians who discovered the coldest continent 1,300 years ago. Subscribe for more.